In this video, I'll take some of Minecraft's most iconic blocks and turn them into some of the most cursed items in the game with a little help of Google Translate. Strap in, because this is the most blessed and cursed resource pack you'll see. Also, if you enjoy the video, consider subscribing for more Minecraft content. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So I thought, what better way to start the video than with one of the most iconic and important tools in the game, the chest. It doesn't matter what part of the game you're in, you're always using the chest in one way or another. So let's spice it up a bit, put it through Google Translate. So here we are in Google Translate, and we're just going to crank this up to 80, and let's see what happens. Motorcycle. Oh my god, um, okay, okay, I'll try my best. So here we are in block bench, and I'm just gonna start by getting rid of this, because if you know what a motorcycle looks like, it is, uh, nothing like a chest. So I'll start by making the front wheel of our little motorcycle chest contraption. And I'd say that looks relatively decent, so we'll go ahead and duplicate this to the back, and let's get started on the seat. The seat's gonna be a little cardboard box for now, until we get it connected. Now I'll try to make a uh, motorcycle fork, I think it's called. I don't know, that's what the wakey said. Now we'll work on the seat a little bit, make that a little more comfortable. And this doesn't actually look so bad. It's actually turning out better than I thought. 10 out of 10, I would ride it. Now, I'm no expert on motorcycles, but I think they generally work better if you have steering handles. Now that the model's finished, I can create a texture and start to color this bad boy in. Although it does look kind of dope like this. I think a nice hot rod red would suit this well. And of course, you can't forget the main part of the chest, which is the storage. So, I went ahead and made a little pocket to store all your goodies in. After making a few finishing touches, I think it's about time we check this out in-game. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you... The Motorcycle... Chest. Yeah, I mean, I think it turned out alright. Uh, you can at least tell it's a motorcycle, right? And of course, you can't forget about the best part of this contraption, the fact that it's still a working chest. Have you ever had the natural human urge to stuff a motorcycle full of raw potatoes? Well, look no further than my resource pack. I think it's a pretty cool build, 6 out of 10 on the cursed scale. But with the help of a command block, I can make it even more cursed. Future Bubba here. Prepare yourself, because this is the most normal frame you'll see for the rest of the video. So I took a trip down to the local village, where I came across easily one of my favorite blocks in the game, which is none other than the bell. I mean, it's a pretty unique block, I mean just look at it, it swings, villagers are deathly afraid of it, what's not to love? So let's go over to Google Translate and see what we can make of it. Alright, you know the drill. Distortion, 80, let's see what we get. Uh, Member of the government. Okay, alright, I'll see what I can do. Back at it again in block bench, and I'm gonna start by getting rid of the top of the bell, but I'll leave the bottom because I think that's a nice little platform for him to stand on. We'll start off by giving my guy a couple of legs. Now a nice wide gut to go with it. Throw on a couple of confident looking arms. And of course, you can't forget about the most important part of any politician, a big head. We'll give him a nice, uh, slick black haircut and a nice expensive tax dollar dress suit. You know what? I, I don't think this is realistic enough. Uh, one second. A few inches later. Now that, that's much better. I think we've captured the essence of a politician pretty well. All right, and with that, we can head back into game and see what it looks like. Well, if this isn't horrifying, I don't know what is. No, get away, cow. Trust me, you don't want to come near him. Yeah, I'm, I'm honestly a bit worried about what this is going to look like, but um, here goes nothing. Guys, I'm starting to rethink this idea just a little bit. Now, if this isn't the most horrific thing you've ever seen. Oh my god, I mean look, like his eyes are staring into my soul. Not gonna lie, he's looking a bit like a Christmas ornament right now. Let's see what this guy thinks. Hey sir, do you have a minute to talk about the economy? Oh. Alright. Well, good to know they're just as effective as politicians in real life. Well, this has been a traumatic experience. Let's do it again! Before I lose my will to live. You know what, I think we're gonna try a shulker box. Those are pretty cool. How the, like, top spins and whatnot. Why is it in Russian? We're just gonna pretend like we didn't see that. Explain to me how you got thick soup from shulker box. You know what? I got a really good idea. Let's let's do it. 
All right, so I'm gonna take off the top, but I think I'm gonna leave the bottom because I think that's a good base for a bowl. Everyone knows you need a nice big bowl if you're gonna have thick soup. So I'll start building up the sides of the bowl so that I can hold a sufficient amount of thick soup. Soup time. It's funny that the translator felt the need to call it not just soup, but thick soup. So I gotta really convey that in my uh, crafting here. So that ended up not being enough uh, soup for my uh, satisfaction. I had to make the bowl just a little bigger, as you can see. Ladle's pretty important. Don't wanna eat soup without it. I know I sure wouldn't. With this one, I want it to kind of have a an authentic shulker kind of feel. So I'm just gonna take the old texture and just start copying it over. So it's truly a shulker box of soup. I can't wait. And just to finish it off, I'll even put the swirly texture on the inside of the lid. Call that a shulker soup. A shook. Bless you. Thank you. So here we are back in game, and I'm already loving this thing. As you can see, it looks a bit like a shulker cauldron kind of hybrid thing. So I think that's pretty cool. But check this out, check this out, you'll love this. Thick soup, everybody! Come get it while it's hot! I like to imagine that it was a hot summer day in the end dimension, and a shulker just got a little too hot. No AC in the box, just started melting. That's what this reminds me of. I am a huge fan of the lid though. It's pretty satisfying. You know, I've always wanted to store my important items in a tub of soup. How about you? Moving swiftly on. All right, next I think we're gonna go for a campfire. Yes. All right, well, let's try that again. The weather is very hot. Uh, yeah, I think campfires generally do that, yes. All right, one more time, what do we got? Firefighters? Oh, okay, I mean, I can make that work. All right, let's make us some firefighters. So I'm gonna start by making a little, nice little family home over here. Firefighters need something to put out. Fire truck. Now we'll add a couple little firefighters. Give them tiny little red hats. And ironically, they look like matchsticks. Sorry, but it's time for the family house to start burning. Better run, little Timmy. You know, this is actually gonna work out perfectly because the campfire still gives off smoke. I think it's actually gonna be the first one that makes a little bit of sense. I'll finish it off by making the grass look a little better. And now we'll check it out in game. Here's what the icon looks like. Wow. Check it out. What a scene we have here. I think it looks pretty great. Uh, the smoke coming from it is a perfect unintentional feature. And guess what? You can still go and cook your raw pork chops on it. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Mmm. Housefire pork just hits different. So this easily isn't the most cursed thing I've ever made, but I mean, it's definitely not the least. And that'll lead us to our final project. I'm thinking for our last project, we should probably do a boat. I think it's a pretty unique item. So let's throw it in the translator and see what it thinks in its infinite wisdom. God forbid? What? What is... What is that supposed to mean? Okay, so apparently boats are a bit of a sensitive topic for the translator. Let's try that again. Oh, a tent. Okay. That's pretty interesting. Let's try it. So I'll start by getting rid of all this, uh, nonsense. And we'll just give it a nice little wooden platform. Tent's gonna need a couple of these if it's gonna stay up. And you know, it's actually kind of looking a bit like a swing set right now. Now we'll get to the meat and bones of it, the sides. And I really wonder, I wonder where the water is gonna meet the boat. I'm not sure how this is gonna work out. I guess we'll see, won't we? Now we'll start building up the sides. I'm actually really liking this design. I think it's pretty authentic. Just build up the other side. And there we go, that looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty Minecrafty. Let's check it out in game. So here's the icon for the boat. Let's put it in water and... Oh no, no! It sunk. Oh well, it's still floating, right? <laughs> Let's give it a spin. Wow, this is really cursed. Say goodbye to your peripheral vision. And I hope you don't mind just a little bit of water on your feet. I mean, this thing's a beast. Look at the tricks you can pull on this. Let's see what the sheep thinks about it. Oh, he's nice and cozy in there. Oh, not anymore. You know, this would actually make a pretty good campsite. Oh, and we have the perfect block for it. Check it out, camping in Minecraft. Pretty cool. I hope you've enjoyed this very, very cursed Minecraft video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment. 
on what you think I should do next. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of this or less of it. I know I sure want to see less of it. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.